The U.S. Air Force demonstrated a cruise missile launch from a cargo plane using a palletized weapon system for the first time. The test is part of the Air Force Rapid Dragon experimentation program to achieve cost-effective mass delivery of long-range standoff weapons from non-traditional air platforms such as cargo planes. During the December 16 test, a MC-130J flown by an Air Force Special Operations Command operational flight crew received new targeting data while in flight which was then routed to the Cruise Missile Flight Test Vehicle FTV. Once inside the drop zone over the Gulf of Mexico, released surrogate JASSMRs in system level flights conducted over White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. The MC 130J aircrew airdropped a four cell Rapid Dragon deployment system containing the FTV and three mass simulants, which were sequentially released from the palletized deployment box while under parachute. Safe separation from the deployment box and weapon deconfliction was demonstrated using an unconventional deployment method, nose down vertical orientation. Immediately after the vertical release, the FTV deployed its wings and tail, achieved aerodynamic control, ignited its engine, performed a powered pull-up maneuver, and proceeded toward its newly assigned target. The cruise missile successfully destroyed its target upon impact. During the series of tests, the Air Force demonstrated a high-altitude weapon airdrop, successful jettisoning weapons through a deployment system, and weapon deconfliction through the clean separation of the weapon and multiple simulants. Moving forward, a live, long-range cruise missile under powered flight on board an MC-130J aircraft will be launched to determine potential design refinement, maturation, and eventual deployment. The Air Force plans to include other weapon systems for similar testing. What is a Rapid Dragon Palletized Weapon System? Dragon is a palletized munitions experimentation campaign exploring feasibility and operational advantages of airdropping long-range palletized munitions from existing airlift platforms, such as the C-130 and C-17, without aircraft modifications. The multi-phase program brings together nearly 30 stakeholders from across DOD, Air Force Major Commands, Test, and Evaluation Enterprise, Program Offices, and Industry to develop and demonstrate the capability through modeling, simulation, analysis, demonstration and flight tests. The program, established in December 2019, expects to achieve powered flight within 24 months. Named after an ancient Chinese weapon, the modern Rapid Dragon gives traditional cargo aircraft the ability to employ standoff air to ground munitions. It encases the entire munitions packet in a pallet, as you might imagine from the name. Then like any cargo, it goes inside the back of a cargo aircraft. For this test, a Special Operations MC-130 seemed the obvious choice. Then, like any other piece of cargo, it goes out the back door with a parachute. That's where things get interesting. Next, the actual weapon is released from the pallet, where it free falls briefly, before firing its engine and deploying wings. The AM 158 JASSM cruise missile used in the test has a range of around 500 miles.